Four young people now face hate crime charges for allegedly vandalizing a Spokane Valley church last summer. Crime 2 Shannon Mowdy has the details now of how investigators tracked them down. Two couples in their early 20s now face a hate crime charge for the message they left behind here at Veradell United Church of Christ last summer. Today there are plenty of signs at Veradell Church standing in direct opposition to signs that were left behind nearly nine months ago. It's short for Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 13, which says that it's okay to kill gay men and you're not responsible if you kill a gay person. Grum 2 News spoke with Pastor Jen Haywood days after four vandals sprayed Lev 2013 on the church lawn with diesel. Now Catherine Bleicher, John Dawson Rhodes, Bridget Shannon, and Jacob Easton each face a hate crime charge. Court records show the four were charged in mid-February, months after investigators first tracked them down by linking Bleicher to this suspect vehicle. Investigators say in August, Bleicher admitted to Spokane Valley Police she was involved along with her boyfriend and the other couple. She reportedly told them the verse had to do with Christians hating LGBTQ and that she regretted the situation. The church quickly replaced some of the pride flags the group is also accused of stealing, not letting hate take over their message of acceptance. As a human being, our faith says you can change. Under Washington's current hate crime law, vandalism of private property like the church is a Class C felony. Thursday, Washington's legislature passed an update which will include vandalism of public property if signed by Governor Jay Inslee. The amendment was spurred by vandalism of pride crosswalks across Spokane. Court records show all four suspects could go to trial in late May. Shannon Mowdy, Krem 2 News.